When you open MIDI mode, you'll be presented with a blank user interface. This combo box is where you can create preset folders. Let's create a folder name. Once this folder has been created, you are ready to create a MIDI preset. Select this plus symbol at the bottom of the preset list. Type in an appropriate name. A default configuration will be populated. Now you can customize this preset. MIDI mode outputs MIDI CC data, so the value column represents the MIDI value that your hardware element will output. They've already been populated, but you're more than welcome to change them to whatever you want. The slow and fast sliders represent the slowest and fastest speeds your encoder will send that MIDI data. As your encoders are velocity sensitive, Depending on how fast you turn an encoder will depend on the value it will send out. Turning both full right would mean your encoder would be extremely sensitive. Even the smallest turn would result in a large movement. Alternatively, this would mean that you'd have to turn your encoder many times just to get one rotation in your software. The R column represents a response curve of your encoder. The type columns represent whether you would like your messages to be sent in relative or absolute values. Relative means that your encoders send out either a plus one or a minus one value depending on whether you're turning your encoder clockwise or anti-clockwise. This would be your preferred type as it doesn't hold absolute values. It simply tells your door to move the increments of clockwise or anti-clockwise. If your door doesn't support relative MIDI CC mapping, you can use absolute values instead. But this does come with a few caveats. Absolute values tracks the position of your encoder. For example, rather than saying turn the encoder left or right, it will be saying position the encoder at 12 o'clock or position the encoder at three o'clock. These absolute values mean that when you switch between different plugins, you need to engage something that most doors have called pickup mode. This is so you don't have to adjust the old encoder's value to the new plugin's value. It's safe to say, if you can use relative type values, it's going to be a much better experience. For buttons, toggle is the equivalent of relative. The final column is direction, and engaging it will reverse the direction your encoder is sending the MIDI data. In the bottom right hand corner of MIDI mode, you have preset specific settings and various functions to make mapping as simple as possible. A MIDI channel can be chosen here. All slow and all fast will customize the speed of your encoders at once. Similarly, all response will change the response of all your encoders. An absolute and relative default and inverted the same. Now, once you have your preset customized, you can hit save. And that will save your preset to your documents folder under Rock Solid Audio, where you can find all your other presets, including mouse mode and host mode as well. 
And once this is done, your controller will be outputting the MIDI messages of your chosen preset. Selecting a different preset will change your controller's output to that preset. And all that's left to do now is to check the manual on how to MIDI map in your own door.